Bomarito Automotive Group Skyfox flew over a Columbia, Illinois home this morning, destroyed by fire. The Weber family living there lost their home and two pets to the smoke and flames. The Webers own car dealerships across the area. Fox 2's Laura Simon looks at the tragic loss and how a swimming pool helped in putting out the flames. The fire started around 2.15 Monday morning. Take a look at this video from Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox. This is on Charlotte Avenue in the Stonegate Estates neighborhood. The back of the home is gone. The inside gutted. Fire Chief Mike Rodigger says the home is destroyed. Upon arrival, we had flames uh, through the roof, foot pretty much the entire structure fully involved. Um, we had uh, called our, struck a first and a second alarm mutual aid. Uh, for all our neighboring departments. The Prairie DuPont, Melville, Dupo and Waterloo Fire Departments all helped the Columbia Fire Protection District get the flames under control. The chief says the home was not safe to go inside because the homeowners had propane tanks in the back. They also had ammo stored in a safe in the basement, which started going off during the firefight. Crews also only had one hydrant to work with. Luckily, they have a swimming pool in the back. We're able to pump water out of the back of it. Um, just keeping water flowing. This is a dead end water line here, so we're sort of tr had troubles with waters when we hooked up to two hydrants. The couple who lives in this home thankfully made it out safely, but sadly their two dogs did not. The couple does have three adult children who were out here consoling their parents. I've spoken with them off camera, and as you can imagine, they are devastated. This was their childhood home. The chief says this home belongs to Lori and George Skip Weber. They own car dealerships across the area. Some of these firefighters know them personally. The couple called 911 as they were escaping the fire. We're here if they need us to support them with anything. I know the community's behind them also. Um, he, George is, is big into Songs for Soldiers in Columbia. Um, a huge, he's the main sponsor for that, and I'm sure the entire community will rally around him and help him out. Chief Rodiger says nothing seems suspicious about the fire. It took crews about three hours to put it out. It started in the back area. We're not sure if it was under the deck or in, or in the basement area someplace, but it started on the, on the lower level as far as we can tell right now. The state fire marshal is investigating, working to determine how the fire started. In Columbia, Illinois, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.